said welcome to my channel queen sunbeam tarot i am back with another video and in this video we're going to be diving into this is why people love you happy valentine's day everybody i'm going to be dropping this video on valentine's day so happy valentine's day if you celebrate it um i just wanted to make this video to really give back to my subscribers and to those just give back to those <laughs> those people out there that choose to click on this video um and just share love okay so yeah i want to hype you up let you know why people love you okay so what i need for you to do is get calm get relaxed get into a nice vibe that way you can be guided by your intuition when choosing between the three options that i have for you so let's get into these options Once you feel like you know which one is calling out to you, go ahead and click on that description box and then click on the timestamp for whichever one you feel the most drawn to. And then I will see you at your pile selection. If anything I say today resonates, make sure you like this video, comment down below and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. I would love to have you. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also check out my Instagram and TikTok. That information is down below as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated let's go ahead and get started hello option number one so if you chose um that pink stone right over there then this will be your reading okay so let's go ahead and dive into why people love you okay so i wrote down a song for you guys okay for each pile i wrote down a song and a little bit of um messages that will resonate for this reading okay behind the um song so i also wrote down messages that will resonate behind this um, so the song that you guys got is What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. So after this reading, you should definitely listen to this to get into a high vibe, okay? So um, with this song, What Makes You Beautiful, okay? I feel like people love you because I, th I think they, they see themselves within you. And I think that people love you because... I feel like they love you because you don't see um, a lot of the like wonderful things about yourself that they do. And it's I think that means that they love you because you're humble. Like I feel like people love you because you're humble, you're down to earth, you're more innocent and playful. I think that's also some of the things that I wrote down behind the, um, the card. So let me just see, um, I said, yeah i i did write down that it's time for you guys to see yourself and see how beautiful and amazing you are i wrote down see yourself um more because there's so many beautiful parts of you okay so really recognizing how amazing you are and and in everything that you do i also wrote down you glow like magic so i think you have this beautiful light about you that just attracts people to you and i think people love that about you um and I think that there's a depth to you and in your emotions. And I think there's a depth to how much you care for others as well. Um, I wrote down innocent and childlike. So yeah, I think you guys have this very playful like energy. Um, just I think you're, people love you because you're just lovable. <laughs> um, but let's see what we have with your tarot cards. Okay, so for your... <laughs> Sorry, that's my water bottle. <laughs> So for your tarot cards, I see we have the Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Four of Wands. Interesting. So why people love you? With the Nine of Wands, I see that you've been through a lot of hard things. And I think this is why this is what kind of like made you humble. It's because you've experienced like the tougher side of life. So you're not really keen on making anyone feel terrible about themselves or just like I think you care, you know, I think that because you've been through so much, you care so much. Um and I think that that care really flows over into other people with this ace of cups. Like you really like you're willing to offer your 
energy whatever it is that you can offer like get, i'm get, hearing the phrase you know i'd give the shirt off my back to someone so yeah i think that that's the type of person you are very humble very giving very loving and i think that um a lot of the darker experiences that you've had has made you very wise okay and I, with the higher fault i'm also getting that you're very loyal okay you're very loyal and people love that about you people love how loyal loyal you are how giving you are um and just how open you are to loving others and also i think that you give like amazing advice as well i think that people come to you for um some sound advice and i think that people really love that about you that they know that they can count on you um because you'll be there because you are loyal and i love i think that people know as well and love about you that they love that you are like they feel like you're like the stable one <laughs> <laughs> like whether you feel that way or not i feel like people love the fact that you are stable and you're someone you, they can like go to to lean on and you'll help to uplift them and that's awesome i also feel like because we did get the um queen of swords at the back of the deck i also feel like you guys are very strong and you guys are m very much so like warriors and i think you do not play about people that you care about like you really don't like you would you would cuss somebody out quick for somebody that you love and i think that people really love that about you how protective and it's like a nurturing energy that i get for you from you power number one so let's pull some extra cards let's pull some oracle cards okay Ooh. Hello. Hello. What? What? I'm recording right now. I'm like I answered on my other phone. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. Bye. Okay, so let's pull some oracle cards. Pull some oracle cards to add to this message. We have abundance, yes. And now I'm hearing like Shining by Beyonce, so love that. <laughs> and I think that abundance is definitely tapping into. You have so much love to give and you have like, I feel like, um, people like again people can go to you um when they're really going through something and they're feeling frustrated we got frustration when they're really going through something and they're feeling frustrated and they just need somebody to lean on like you have that you have that kind of like energy of like this is someone i can depend on this is someone i can trust okay let me get one more card sweetness yeah that's the energy that i get from you guys um of why people love you like they they know you have a really kind heart and we have happiness at the back of the deck you have a kind heart you're loving you will uplift someone um in a heartbeat <laughs> and you're very giving i think you see so you're, you're one of your love languages could also be like giving gifts and things of that nature but yeah you help people figure out how to get themselves out of a tough situation as well all right let's get another card this message Ooh. okay so we have here my authentic self is my most powerful state yes that that's what i'm saying people think that people feel like you're down to earth okay they feel like you're down to earth they know that you're not like someone who just will be like willing to betray them they know that you're true to who you are they, like you're a real person like you real you know and i think that's what people love about you is how real you are how sweet you are and how much look at this my existence makes the world shine brighter and that's what they love about you how by you just being there you just being around just uplift like your energy like i said what i wrote down you glow like magic your energy just uplifts people okay you don't even have to do anything really 
So love that for you guys. Okay, and we're gonna get another message. And this message is just what's coming your way in the next um, seven days after viewing this, okay? What's coming their way in the next seven days after viewing this. Okay, next seven days. Okay, so we have life lessons. So you have a major challenge that you guys are gonna be overcoming in the next seven days, okay? What else do we have? When I when I made that card, uh, Life Lessons, it's really just about you going through like a tough time, but you overcoming it at the same time. Like you going uphill, you going, you know, to the top of the mountain. And sometimes that can be a struggle. We have communication, we have air energy here. And it's funny how I said communication first. So this tells me that you guys are gonna be having a little bit of communication issues with the people in your life, okay? It could be with a specific person. But I think that there may be some communications issues, communication issues coming up within the next seven days that you guys are going to be overcoming, okay? Lastly, we have freedom. I think you're gonna be speaking up for yourself in the next seven days and really speaking your truth and creating healthy boundaries with those that don't really vibe with your energy and 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 who you are in the present time of whenever um, you are watching this, <laughs> okay? So that's what I have for you, option number one. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a big fat like. That helps out the channel a lot. Also, um, comment down below and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. I would love to have you. Make sure that when you do subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, check out my Instagram and TikTok. That information is down below, as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. Hope to see you in the next one. I am out. Peace. Hello, option number two, people. So if you chose that beautiful pink stone over there, then this will be your reading for why people love you, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into it, all right? So first we have here a song that I wrote down for you guys. Um, you can listen to this song after this me after this message, okay? So the song is Every Kind of Way by Her, okay? By the artist Her, so you should check it out. Now, I also wrote down like a little bit of um, channeled words or messages on the back of the card, which I'll get into in a minute. But with every kind of way, okay, this is why people love you. Let me see what I'm getting from that song. Yeah, I think that you play, I think people really love you because you have this, uh, it's like you have this deep understanding of people and what they grow, go through. You have this deep understanding of people and what they go through. And I think you have this unconditional love for humanity or just unconditional love for the people around you okay it's like even if they're not in your life you still love them from afar like you still have love for them you still like there's just i think there's a lot of great energy about you option number two people i think you have a lot of depth to your heart and to the feelings that you feel you could be very empathic okay um but yeah, and I think that you have so much, like you have, I think you have so much love that you want to give. Um, but I also feel like you've had to learn how to create healthy boundaries when it comes to loving as well. So let's get into the messages that I have behind the card. Oh, <laughs> I wrote down big heart, which is basically what we talked about. I also wrote down major lover. Okay, like you, I think you love love, option number two. <laughs> and I think people love that about you. People love that you have a big heart. People love that you just, you love love and you're sweet and you're kind and you're gentle. Okay, let's get into these tarot cards though to see why else people love you. Okay, so what we have for you guys is justice, four of pentacles, seven of wands, and the princess of pentacles. So, I feel like you guys have, like, this is giving me very much Taurus. <laughs> this is giving me Taurus energy, okay? You don't have to be a Taurus. Um, you could be a Libra as well. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like you guys, like, when you love someone or something, you hold on to it tight and strong, and it's very hard for you to let go. This is why I said it in the beginning, you guys are learning to create those boundaries, you know. You can have that unconditional love, but you can also hold boundaries for yourself that are going to be most beneficial with the Seven of Wands here, right? 
And I also feel like with the Seven of Wands is saying that you're very sensitive as well. And I think that people love that about you as well. How sensitive you are, how much you will like hold on. Like I feel like I feel like some people are afraid of your love, option number two, but at the same time, they admire the fact that you would hold on to the love that you have for them instead of choose to hate them or choose to feel something negatively towards them. It's like I'm hearing that phrase, bless your heart. Like you know what I'm saying? You will you will you will um like let's say someone is very much so wishing wishing bad on you and just and being negative towards you or even let's say you got into a fight with your friend and they're really like down talking you or whatever you would still like keep your like you're you you'd hold that grace and hold that composure and just you know pray for them you know what i'm saying you pray for them and keep it moving <laughs> and i think that you know that's a, a thing that they love about you is like you're not i think you don't come from a, a dark place with things i think you come from love and light and i think that you try to you try your best to be the best version of yourself for those that you love and i think that's what people really love about you okay I also feel like people really love the fact with this justice card. I think that people really love the fact that you you help them like they may not be aware of it, aware of this or not, but you do help people balance out their karma as well somehow some way because that's what I'm getting. And also you are this person that helps people kind of get things in order, get things in balance. That could be how you um balance out their karma by helping them get their life into balance and helping them to balance the energies within them. Um, but with the justice card here, I'm really getting that you guys are helping others. Like people love that you help them to face the truth. The truth is a very hard thing to face, but I feel like the way that you do it is a very gentle and kind and loving way um, to where it's like, okay, it's like you would be that person to tell that friend, listen, you need to let that person go because they're hurting you more than they're actually helping you. And I think that people love that about you, that you will actually uphold your mor morals, your values, and have that honesty with them like you are very honest and i think that's what people love about you the most how honest you are and how much you um really uphold your values also with the princess of pentacles you are like someone who comes up with fun ideas <laughs> maybe you could be very creative as well but i think that people really love that you come up with fun ideas to do especially like like let's say um your friends want to go out or whatever and you have like a whole list of things that you can do that you guys can do to go out and have a good time so i think that's another thing that people really love about you now let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards to get more information and you defend those that you love as well. Um, let's get some Oracle cards. So we have disruption. Disruption, And we also have ghost. <sighs> Love at the back of the deck. Yeah. Like you guys have a big heart, like I said. Now with disruption, determination, and ghost. I feel like people love the fact that you are determined <laughs> okay i feel like you're determined to help people move past bullshit to help people move past those that would like that aren't really meant to stick around you give me very much like um let me just adjust the camera you give me very much like um high priestess or high priest like you're you're that energy where it's like bro <laughs> i'm telling you this is not right for you like i you don't have to do what i say but this is what I see for you guys and this is what I'm noticing and you can either do something about it or continue to be in this position like that's the kind of talk that you would have with someone and I think that people really love that about you because you help them to see what's disturbing their spirit and then you give them the determination to move past that 
and this allows for them to really ghost the things that just is not working for them and that's what people really love about you okay i think you you could also be like a life coach um you don't have to be but i'm just seeing that you guys have that energy of like let's move past this you give people that motivation to move past their um really harsh challenges especially when it comes to love and relationships because i think that you've had some relationships um in your life that were you know that 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 ended and that you had to grieve from okay so you know what it's like and because you know what it's like you give that real authentic uh opinion about things and people love that so what else do we have for option number two okay what else people love we have here i am gentle kind patient and forgiving with myself yes people love that i think that you do take care of yourself and you're big on self-care as well and i think people love that about you because that gives them the determination to do the same um but again like i said people love that you're gentle you're kind you're patient and you're very forgiving um what else do we have here I just heard delicate as a rose. So that's interesting. <laughs> um, we also have, I am the creator of my own story. Wow. Yeah. See, is that, that, that's that motivation that you guys give. Yeah. And I, at the back of the deck, it says today, I will think about all that I am instead of all that I am not. Okay, and I think that's the energy that you you give other people like don't focus on all the things that you're not like focus on look love you in every kind of way It's that unconditional love that you give to people that people really love. Um, and yes, most definitely people really love how you are changing your story. You're creating your own story for yourself. That's different. That's not one of just pain anymore. And I think people really admire that about you. Now let's see what's coming your way within the next seven days. This is just a little additional thing I wanted to do for you guys. So we have Mary J. Blige, just fine. Within the next seven days for option number two. Within the next seven days for option number two. Oh, you guys got shaman, okay, healer. So I did feel like you guys were like high priests. Like I felt like you guys were like spiritual, very spiritual. So you could be a shaman or a healer. And lastly, we have <clears throat> protected. Okay, so what's coming your way within the next seven days? I see here that you guys are going to be healing from something. I think you guys are going to be with the just fine. I think that, you know, in the next seven days, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be handling situations just fine. I think life is going to get a little bit more lighter for you guys, a little bit more easier to work through. I think you're going to be working on, if you are a healer, I think you're definitely going to be working on helping to heal others and helping people learn how to protect themselves. Um... And yeah, I feel like overall within the next seven, day, seven days um, after viewing this video, you're going to feel a little bit lighter, not be carrying so much. And I think you're also going to be protected from bullshit. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. Option number two. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big fat like, comment down below and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. I would love to have you. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, check out my Instagram and TikTok. That information is down below, as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. Hope to see you in the next one. I am out. Peace. Hello, option number three. So if you chose that pyrite stone, then this is going to be your reading for This Is Why People Love You, okay? So let's go ahead and dive in. So I got a song for you guys. I got a song for every pile. And your song is Hours and Hours hours okay by um muni or me oh i don't know by this girl <laughs> um but yeah so your song is hours and hours okay so let me just um tap in and see what that's about i also wrote down um behind the card um just some channeled words and messages or whatever anything that came through 
in regards to why people love you. So with hours and hours, I really felt like <laughs> with this song, I felt like there's a, I think that people really love your confidence, okay? It, it, whether you feel confident or not, I feel like you radiate confidence and people love that about you, okay? Whether you know that or not. All right, but let me see what else I, um, let me see what I wrote down. We got Big Boss Energy. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I was getting for you, option number three. That you guys have that Big Boss Energy and that's what people love about you. Like, like you just know, like you just know that you're meant to be, not even meant to be, it's just like you know you're something special. You know what you want is what I wrote down. That's what people love about you as well. You know what you want. You, you know how to protect your heart. People love that about you as well. You're strong AF, I wrote down. People love that about you. You're independent, okay? And, <laughs> and I wrote down sex energy. I got a, like a big sex energy for problem number three. So I don't know if you've been having a lot of sex lately or not. It's not my business. But, <laughs> but I wrote down that you're good in bed because that's just something that people love about you as well. <laughs> <laughs> now take that for how it resonates um let's go ahead and dive into your tarot cards to see um why else people love you okay so we have the high priestess nine of wands two of cups and knight of wands i don't know why but i heard like when i was flipping the cards over i heard um a lady in the streets but a freak in the bed <laughs> Isn't that a song a song by Usher? Like, I, I don't know if that describes y'all. <laughs> so take that for how it resonates, but that's just what, what came through and it made me laugh. Um, but yeah, because okay, so with the high priestess here for you guys, I feel like people really love you because I think that you're very intelligent. I think that you um enlighten them on a lot of things that they that they normally wouldn't really see. I think you you really show them things. Or, or help people to see things differently, okay? With that High Priestess card. I think you're very wise and I think this wisdom has come from a lot of difficulties and challenges with this Nine of Wands. Um, I also feel like you guys are very romantic with the Knight of Wands, like very romantic. Um, and even if it's not romantic, it's just like you have a lot of dreams, you have a lot of energy uh, when it comes to like, making life a little bit more magical than what it actually is <laughs> and let me see what i'm getting with the two of cups i think that oh with the two of cups i feel like there's some sort of energy here where it's like you know how to communicate it's like you just i think you have a, a good communication skill you're you know how to communicate with others like and i know that's like what that's so lame but <laughs> like um i think that's one of your skills like you have this ability to really connect with people on a in a deep way on a deep level and this is something that really i think that people really love about you because you you connect with people and you listen to them and you help them work through certain things and i think you're just I, get, this gives me like the energy of like you being open you know what I'm saying? Like your heart being open. You're not afraid to like really say how you feel or just be who you are. With that pirate stone, I feel like you guys are very like, I feel like you're meant to shine and be in the spotlight. And I think that even if you're not in like the spotlight, I feel like you kind of are to the people around you. Like I feel like when they look at you, they see someone that they don't want to lose okay interesting so let's get some um oracle cards to further this message hmm. yeah and i'm hearing a different song so a lot of music okay so i'm hearing one and the same so that people really connect with you um on that level to where it's like they feel like you see through them they feel like you you know what they're feeling and they feel like you just get it okay i'm gonna take that card back because that card came out for another pile and let me shuffle it yeah. 
yeah i don't think anything is surface level with you option number three i think that everything is is very much so deeper more spiritual for you option number three to where it's like when you connect with people you want to connect on a deep level a very deep level Why else do people love option number three? I'm seeing the number five, okay? So with the number five, I feel like you guys are very much so very adventurous, very outgoing. Um, I feel like, you, yeah, you would love to go on an adventure and just do some crazy shit. <laughs> and I think that's what people love about you. We have trust. Yeah, people love you because they feel like they can trust you. That's what I said, one and the same. Like they feel like they like if they have a problem, they'll come to you, but they'll they're coming to you because they feel like you're someone who would actually get it. They feel like you're someone who gets them on a deep, deep level. Yeah, and we have growth. Oh wow. People love you because you help them to grow and they also see how much you've grown as a person. So they just I think that people for real to be honest option number three i feel like people really just admire you like i feel like people admire you i feel like for some reason i feel like people look up to you yeah yeah with that two of cups i definitely get comfort i'm gonna pull that card okay for you guys i get comfort you're comforting um to people and people love that people love how <sighs> strong you are people love how you just are honest about the things that you feel and they love to they love how much you've grown over time they love how comforting your energy is and they know that they can trust you and trust that you will not betray them why because i feel like you've been betrayed before and you've been through the ringer <laughs> okay and people know that and and even if they don't know it they can sense it and they know that you are a beautiful star meant to shine and they're not supposed to be fucking with you. <laughs> like, absolutely not. All right, so let's see what else we have for option number three for why people love them. Let's see. Why else do people love option number three people? Ooh. So we have, I allow myself to savor this precious, precious moment fully. Wow. Yeah, I like that for you. And we also have my wildest dreams are coming true. Mm -hmm. So like, if, I feel like if you have some a job or something where you're in the spotlight. Oh, look at the back of the deck. My life is full of abundant opportunities. So that's kind of giving me the inclination that you guys are definitely going to be um, making or achieving one of your deepest dreams or deepest desires um, very soon. But we'll see about that in a minute um when we pull some more cards for what's coming your way in the next seven days okay but anyways <laughs> before we dive into that i feel like you guys work hard towards your dreams and i think that that's another thing that people really love about you okay I, i'm getting that with this card and also with this card i feel like you guys it's like you have that balance you work hard for your dreams but you also work very hard on your mental health and making sure that you are okay and making sure that you are um appreciating and holding gratitude for each moment so i think that's another thing that people really love about you now let's go ahead and get into those seven days seven days from now let's see um what's coming their way in the next seven days look at that we got the star card wish fame hope clarity so yeah i think you're gonna get recognition for something that you've done something again that could be one of your dreams but there's like some sort of hope or some sort of wish coming true it's some sort of achievement coming within the next seven days what else Ooh, so okay so this flipped over but i'm not gonna take it because it's two but we have a new relationship with the fire sign for some of you guys or just a masculine energy coming through within the next seven days that may resonate for some okay only for some what else though for um option three next seven days what's coming their way what's coming their way We have travel. Ooh. Okay. And yeah. 
Okay, and we got water energy coming out. Ah, so you guys are really moving on from something in the past, okay? In the next seven days, you're going to be moving on from something of the past or just moving on and healing some sort of emotions that maybe you've been holding on to um, or some aspect of your subconscious that you're healing, okay? That's coming up in the next seven days. And with this star, I feel like after you heal this part of you, you're definitely going to be moving into a more hopeful energy and you're going to be gaining a lot more clarity on where you should be moving um like what steps you should be taking after that you know what i'm saying so you, you're going to be going through this healing process within the next seven days and after you're healing what needs to be healed then you're going to really find that clarity you know find that clarity that maybe you've been seeking and again some of you guys could be traveling but i feel like this is more so you moving on from something all right but that's what i have for you option number three i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big fat like comment down below and subscribe to join the sunstar family i would love to have you make sure when you subscribe you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a video also check out my instagram and tiktok that information is down below as well as the information to donate to my channel it is not required but it is greatly appreciated hope to see you guys in the next one i am out peace